A woman dies after being attacked by her own dog. Tonight, we're learning the latest on the investigation into Rachel Hanabarger's death. Good evening, I'm Kristen Hartman. And I'm Kurt Ludlow. Tracy has the night off. Tonight, we're learning more that, uh, about that attack in Coshocton County, and authorities have now euthanized that dog. 10TV's Chuck Strickler joins us live from the newsroom after learning the new information about that investigation. Chuck? Well, this is just a tragic story, and right now, investigators don't have any conclusive answers. They say they will probably never know why Rachel Honneberger's three-year-old German Shepherd attacked her last Tuesday afternoon. Tonight, we have confirmed the dog was put to sleep as the family prepares for Rachel's funeral. Where does the investigation stand right now? It's complete. It's complete. It's just an un very unfortunate accident. Coshocton County Dog Warden Russell Dreyer says words can't describe what happened in the yard of this home on County Road 23 last Tuesday afternoon. For some reason, he says the family's 104-pound German Shepherd attacked 35-year-old Rachel Honneberger. It was a scene of controlled chaos at the first. Um, there was a neighbor on the scene that did advise what had happened. The warden says that neighbor just so happened to be driving by right after the initial attack and saw Rachel in trouble. The warden says as the neighbor approached the victim to help her, the dog began attacking her again. The neighbor was somehow able to pull the dog off of her and then get it into its kennel. At that point, the man called 911 and gave the victim first aid until medics arrived. I need an ambulance here, fast. Okay, what's going on, sir? I got a lady that's been attacked by a dog. She was attacked by a dog? Yes. Okay, we're going to get him there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Rachel was eventually flown by helicopter to Grant Medical Center with severe injuries to her neck. In the meantime, the warden says the dog was quarantined at a local vet's office until last Friday. I received a call from Grant Medical Center requesting rabies testing to aid in the care of Mrs. Honnebarger. The dog was euthanized by a local veterinarian and transported to a uh, Department of Health for rabies testing. The rabies test came back negative. Still, the nagging question remains, why this brutal attack happened. Why did this dog snap? You never know. Never know. Now, the obituary on the Coshocton Tribune website says Rachel Hanabarger passed away last Thursday from her injuries. She is described as a dedicated wife and mother, survived by her husband and two children. Her funeral is set for this coming Thursday. In the newsroom, Chuck Strickler, 10TV News.